close your eyes and you might think you're listening to Vinny Lombardi. Honey, I don't care. You make a point. But this voice belongs to Gussie Nell Davis. <laughs> Drill master of the Kilgore Rangerettes. Woody's World paid a visit to the pride of Kilgore, Texas. The commands suggest the dusty swirl of the drill field, the costumes, the bone-bending ballet class. Put together, they make that American answer to the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, the Kilgore Rangerettes. Right, ready? Hurry! Time's a wasting. we got to get to Dallas! Hurry. Only surgeons and sergeants give commands with the fierce assurance of a Gussie Nell Davis. But it is obvious that there is no drudgery in these drills and that these non-scholarship girls are as glowing and dedicated as ballet students under the eye of Diaghilev. The Rangerettes may yield something in antiquity to the Russian Imperial Ballet, but since this day in 1940, with little change in basics, save a shortening of the skirt, they have danced metronomically, lashed on by the voice of the lady who substituted choreography for cheers at halftime. About one in five of the 750 freshman girls at Kilgore Junior College turn out for the two-week training camp. Some wilt at things like the demands of the trademark high kick, but about 40 sobbing successes get to join the Stader second-year girls who are already sobered at the thought that soon marching and kicking will give way to motherhood and kitchen. Still, while the bugles blow, the blood bubbles. My mother was a rangerette. And it's been a very great aim in my life to come to Kilgore to be a rangerette. We work very, very hard, and it's always a great reward. I have always wanted to be a rangerette, and then when I did become one last year, it was just like a fulfillment of a dream, so to speak. Sometimes it is rough, but when you get on the field and you see the crowd and hear the band and start your performance, it, it's all worth it. Trips to Hollywood, New York, or nearby Dallas are obviously a large lure to girls who have, for the most part, spent their lives in oil field towns which can't muster a population to match their Saturday audiences. On their way to the Cotton Bowl this week, they sang as if their ancient bus were a magic carpet. the very best they can do. And no matter how good they are, no matter, they can always be better. Week in and week out, the hard work they do, are what are they, competing with perfection, are they? Well, I guess so, because they better be just as perfect as they can or else. Most girls really are a little lazy at this age, and they think that Ranger X is nothing but glamour. They don't realize you have to work for glamour and work hard, and that it's physical work. And uh, some of them come in and stay about two hours and they're gone. And after the first day, we usually lose about 25 or 30. Dallas, even if it's a high school practice field, is where the TV millions will be added to an overflowing bowl full of people. It's the big time. And the big time demands a precision check of the precise. I keep telling you to back up, back up, back up. Honey, I don't care you make a point now. I'm not in there making it. Still, even rangerettes must have a respite. And what paradoxically is more cooling to the fevered mind than wrapping it in a fur hat? Here, in surroundings of silk and lace, they can forget the muscle pulls from cold weather kicking, the grade levels they must maintain to keep a place in the line. On game day outside the Cotton Bowl, they prance, tasting the sweetness of the coming triumph which surrounds them as palpably as the odor of gardenias. They are on their way to the crossroads of attention, where top-flight football teams, Notre Dame and Texas, coached by folk heroes, Ara Parsegian and Darrell Royal, meet under 75,000 pairs of eyes, one pair belonging to the former President of the United States. And when halftime comes, the incumbent president is reliably reported to be watching the Rangerettes 
as they experience the beehive joy of the group performance. Kicking and smiling, they savor the minutes which must always sit at the front of memory's cluttered shelf. Increasingly, the football bowls have a giant game among themselves for the panoply and pageantry championship. In this battle, fought with floats, frills, drums, and dancing, the Kilgore Rangerettes are an all-American asset. This is Haywood Hale Brune in Dallas.